Crown Justice by Plato, 427 to 347 BC. But in reality, justice was such as we are describing, being concerned, however, not with the outward men, but with the inward, inward, which is the true self and concernment of men. For the just man does not permit the several elements within him to interfere with one another or any of them to do the work of others. He sets in order his own inner life and is his own master and his own law and at peace with himself. And when he has bound together the three principles within him, which may be compared to the higher, lower, and middle notes of the scale, and the intermediate intervals, and when he has when he has bound all, when he has bound all of these together and is no longer many, but has become one entirely temperate and perfectly adjusted nature, then he proceeds to act, if he has to act, whether in a matter of property or in a, or in a treatment of the body or in some affair of politics or private business, always thinking and calling that which preserves and cooperates with this harmonious condition, just and good action and the knowledge which presides over it, wisdom and and that which at any any time impairs this impairs this condition, he will call unjust action and the opinion which presides over it ignorance.